Hi everyone. Um, and this is the time for my uh, monthly chat with you. And um, I decided that from now on I will be doing it in the first week of the new month. Uh, on whichever is the closest Saturday to the beginning of the month. Because that way it's easier for you to figure out when I'm going to be live. So, without further ado, let's go to what I have to talk to you about. Um, number one, I want to talk to you about uh, what... Hello, Marie. Um, what uh, deals you can find, okay? Um, because it's all about, as you, as you know, my uh, channel is not uh, so much directed towards uh, people who are very, very advanced in the polymer clay. I mean, it is also for those people because I'm presenting some um, more advanced techniques, but um, I'm mostly geared towards uh, people who either start or who really love polymer clay uh, and are on a budget. So, talking about that, um, I wanted to show you uh, how you can save on some things and what things you can um, actually uh, save quite a bit of money on and where to look for deals. Uh, the ones of you who follow my Facebook page know that I really hit the jackpot past uh, the past weekend when I found a uh, atlas at the local Goodwill for four dollars ninety four, brand new, an old uh, model, true, but you know, it's an atlas, and this is it. Bonjour, Cecile. Um, but there are a lot of other things where you can uh, cut your costs. And uh, this is something I wanted to show you. For example, when it comes to uh, cookie cutters, let me see if uh, Hangouts will let me switch the cameras, hopefully, so I can show you in, in a first... Uh, Okay, it does. If you go to your local craft store, look in the uh, sugar crafting. I know this is uh, generally hangouts sometimes mirrors this. I see it doesn't. Um, this same type of cutter you will find in the polymer clay area for starting from $6.99. As you can see, hi Dorothy, in the uh, sugar crafting aisle, it's $2.99. And uh, it's way cheaper. It's true, you don't find so many, there are only like three, but the quality is exactly the same. And you can find the squares, you can find the rounds, you can find the heart shape, you can find all kinds of other things. Uh, the other thing, uh, this is what I found at my last uh, Hobby Lobby visit. I mean, look at this. This was in the sugar crafting area for $2.99. And uh, think about all the nice patterns you can make for, uh, generally, I thought of bracelets. They had another one with the zigzag, but I didn't want to get over budget. But not just for bracelets, but also for uh, pendants and other things. And then always check the end of the aisles because that's where they have the clearance items. And for example, look at this beautiful finding that I am sure I'm going to find some kind of use for. 72 cents. This other bracelet that, of course, I don't care for this rag but the rest of it i'm sure i can find a use for 72 cents 
also uh, if you go because they usually have sales on uh, alternate weeks on different the different brands of findings uh, for example look at these beautiful uh, bead caps normally they are 499 when they are on sale they are 50 percent off so uh, there are like eight of them they are beautiful antique gold style that you can find all kinds of uh, uses for so let me switch back to my regular camera okay uh then another thing that i'm going to do is i still need to go to uh, the local lowes to grab something i am going to because um with the goodwill of uh, not just uh, one of my sponsors who got for me a, a flex shaft uh, for my Dremel, but also my best friend got me a mini bench grinder, so it should come sometime today. Uh, I will be able to uh, make a tutorial for you on how to sand and buff on a dime. Hi, Teresa. Um, both for people who don't have problems with their hands and for people who do have problems with their hands. Um, then, this was my first uh, thing. Uh, the other things that I wanted to tell you is um, that going along with the lines of um, being geared a lot towards beginners, uh, there is a section on my website that is specially for beginners that I started populating and there will be videos that you will not find on my uh, YouTube channel. Um, and I will soon post some uh, PDFs as well. I still need to install the translator uh, module so people of, uh, who don't speak English uh, can uh, watch those. Um, just a second. Je ne veux pas dire en français ce que j'ai dit euh, sur les, les achats que, que j'ai fait parce qu'elles sont euh, justement avec des magasins dans les États-Unis, donc euh, c'est pas du tout euh, pour vous. Mais l'autre euh, chose que je voulais vous dire, c'est que euh, sur mon euh, site, il y a une section qui est spécialement pour les euh, personnes euh, qui euh, débutent dans le dans l'argile polymérique et euh, j'ajoute toujours des euh, nouveaux articles et de nouveaux vidéos que vous n'aurez pas vous n'allez pas trouver sur mon euh, youtube vous pouvez seulement les voir sur mon euh, site et je vais euh, bientôt installer un module qui fait euh, des euh, traductions aussi donc euh, les gens qui ne parlent pas l'anglais ou ne comprennent pas très bien l'anglais pourront euh, lire mes articles euh, traduits. Bien sûr, c'est euh, le Google, donc ce n'est pas toujours euh, très bon, mais vous savez, c'est quelque chose. <laughs> um, OK, so, my uh, other thing, I am um, starting to catch up. Um, as I said before, my website is not uh, an out-of-the-box one is not uh, on Etsy, is not on any of the, as, as you see, what you see is what you get. It's a website that I am uh, building from scratch uh, on an open source. So uh, everything that means coding and designing and everything, I am doing it by myself. So it takes a little bit of time, but I am finally starting to uh, get caught up on that so uh, soon I will be able to um, get to do more tutorials the same way that I was uh, doing before um, and soon I should be able to upload way more in the store I will also I will post a poll on my Facebook page uh, if anyone is interested in my cane, and I will present a few of them, uh, then I will upload them in the store as well. And um, I will show not just the regular canes, but um, 
you know, I was told that one of my strengths is that uh, I am able to reduce canes to absolutely tiny, tiny, tiny um, uh, sizes, and a lot of people would be interested in, uh, I don't know how to call them, microscopic canes. Uh, so, uh, I will put a poll on my uh, Facebook, and if uh, you are interested, I'm going to put those up for sale as well. Uh, they are great in uh, doing beads and in doing um, quilt-type um, canes. Bonjour, Lisa. Um, just a second. Donc, en français, euh, je suis à peu près euh, fini avec euh, installer mon site. Euh, Ce n'est pas un site qui est construit sur une euh, plateforme populaire. Je le construis euh, moi-même au fur et à mesure et je suis à peu près, à peu près euh, fini. Uh, donc, uh, prochainement, je vais uh, faire uh, le téléchargement de beaucoup d'autres choses. Et uh, ce que je vais mettre dans mon uh, magasin online, uh, ce n'est pas de beaucoup d'intérêt pour les personnes qui n'habitent pas dans, aux États-Unis parce que les uh, tarifs postaux sont uh, horribles. Donc, si vous voulez quelque chose de mon uh, magasin, uh, vous, vous devez me contacter d'abord et je vais uh, me donner votre adresse. Et je vais voir combien le, le postage sera et je vais vous dire et alors euh, je vais prendre euh, les objets du magasin et seulement vous envoyer une euh, euh, pas comment on dit, Cécile invoice euh, sur PayPal et euh, vous pouvez payer, je peux l'envoyer. Il y a des gens qui euh, n'ont pas de problème avec les euh, tarifs postaux. Donc, euh, oui, je, je vous envoie le, les objets que vous désirez, mais vous devez être très euh, euh, attentif euh, quand il euh, s'agit des tarifs postaux parce que euh, pour un simple collier, ça peut être... Euh, de 13 dollars jusqu'à 25 dollars. Hi, Tina. So, uh, the other thing is that I'm going to soon uh, start posting uh, the paid tutorials. Uh, I will have a whole bunch of uh, PDF. Uh, and uh, the video tutorials will be through Amazon. And I was asked before, why did I choose uh, Amazon, uh, because Amazon, out of everything else, uh, cuts a very serious percentage of the revenue. But um, there are two reasons why I chose Amazon. Uh, number one um, is, is the fact that the quality is uh, unrivaled. I mean, whatever is uh, on Amazon, you know that you will get a good quality of uh, whatever you choose to do, streaming or download. Uh, the other reason uh, is because I felt way more safe. Uh, as there had been so many issues lately, and I am so sorry that this is happening in the community, um, when it comes to uh, copyright rights, um, you know what, that was my reasoning. Whoever tries to do that will not just have to deal with just me, but they will have to deal with Amazon. So, you know, I might be little, but Amazon is big. So, uh, this is the main reason why I chose Amazon. Number one, for quality, and number two, for my own safety. But you will be able to uh, get the same tutorials that I will have in video format on Amazon. You will be able to get them in uh, PDF. Also, the way that the PDF will be, uh, you will pay and you will receive in the email the PDF within 24 hours. Um, now, let me say it real quick in French. Uh, donc, je vais uh, bientôt uh, commencer à télécharger des uh, tutos uh, qui seront uh, pour acheter. 
Et j'ai été, euh, quelques personnes m'ont demandé pourquoi j'ai choisi Amazon, parce que j'ai déjà un tuto euh, sur Amazon, celui sur le faux malakite. Et, euh, il y a deux raisons pourquoi j'ai choisi l'Amazon. Le premier, la première raison, euh, même si Amazon euh, prend un très sérieux euh, pourcent, mais la première raison, c'est que euh, c'est la qualité. Avec Amazon, vous ne devez pas euh, vous inquiéter sur la qualité de, euh, du vidéo. Euh, vous pouvez les voir euh, parfaitement et ça n'importe pas si vous choisissez de les voir sur l'Internet ou si vous choisissez les euh, télécharger. Et la deuxième raison, c'est que euh, c'est sur les licences, parce que euh, si quelqu'un essaie de faire quelque chose, ils, ils auront euh, affaire avec Amazon, pas seulement avec moi. Euh, quand il s'agit des tutos PDF, euh, c'est-à-dire des tutos avec des photos et des expli explications, et je vais faire ça, euh, les PDF en français, et en, en, pas seulement en anglais, mais aussi en français. Euh, ils seront euh, vendus, vous allez payer, et ensuite euh, recevoir le fichier dans votre email euh, dans 24 heures. Parce qu'il s'agit de euh, la différence de, de temps, d'heures. De, donc, quand vous payez, je peux dormir. Donc, euh, je vais vous envoyer lorsque je m'éveille. Uh, so, to get to move forward, the main part, actually there are two main things that I wanted to talk to you about. And you'll have to excuse me just a minute, just a minute, please. This is Mr. Fuzzball, who is doing absolutely grand and is very thankful for all your help. And I will make soon a, a video with both of them. I will bring uh, Seamus here in a minute too, so you can see how good he's doing as well, compared to how miserable he was. What you doing? Hey, people want to see you, don't look the other way. Donc, je remercie à tous qui m'ont aidé pour uh, uh, Connor quand il a été très malade et il est absolument uh, très, 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 très bien maintenant. Et je vais uh, apporter chez nous aussi so, pour que vous pouvez uh, voir qu'il qu est absolument en bonne santé. Uh, she must still sneeze, but just a little bit, not a lot. Hello, gorgeous. You ready to go? So let me grab Seamus too. Yes, I know. I know. I'll let you go. Okay, he was sleeping, so I, I bothered him. I disturbed him. Oh, yes, my gorgeous. I know. Okay, it's okay. And here is Mr. Scaredy Cat, who is doing also just fine. Yes, I know he's not as pretty as Connor, but he's got his prettiness too. Donc, Shema est aussi très bien. Il peut pas être très uh, poilu comme qu'on aurait, mais il est très joli tout. Et c'est mon petit gamin. So, we all thank you for all your uh, help to get them to the vet and make them feel better. So, you can see he's not at all miserable. He's just doing fine with his chubbiness. Mr. Chubby Pants. Okay. Okay. Bonjour, Tipunet. Uh, 
So that was one of the things that was very, very, very important. What? <laughs> I kissed him and, and I handled him, so now he needs to clean himself. Uh, are we? Yeah, we do love them like if they were our own children. We definitely do. Um, yeah, Seamus is very, very fussy. Whenever somebody pets him and handles him, he needs to clean himself. Seamus toujours doit se nettoyer tout le temps quand quelqu'un le touche. Et vous avez vu s'il il est très, très, très blanc. But uh, a very interesting thing, uh, I had removed his little uh, jingle bell collar when he was six, so the doctor can uh, examine him better. Uh, but, uh, and now he doesn't want his collar anymore. I tried to put it back on him and he doesn't want it. Donc, Seamus ne veut plus son collier. Je l'ai enlevé quand je l'ai apporté au vétérinaire. Et maintenant, il ne me laisse pas le mettre sur lui. Okay, now my second thing that I think is quite important, and I thought, and um, I will contact also a few other artists about this, because um, I have a lot to thank for. Um, I want to not just share, but also... Uh, Got a little cat here that comes from kissing them too much. Uh, share of um, what I um, received from you guys as gifts. And uh, I want to do this in a constructive way. And I thought, I'm going to tell you my reasoning. Because um, I have a whole bunch of things that um, I received twice. Don't so I can uh, I can share. Yeah, Seamus is uh, orange tabby and white. Yes, uh, I can share uh, of it, and they are quite pretty things, and I will present them. But the other thing that um, I wanted to do, uh, number one, by what I have um, noticed lately, and correct me if I'm wrong. Um, because it can be on one hand, and I, th I think I talked about it um, in one of my blog posts. Um, on one hand, we are very fortunate because lately there is so much stuff coming out uh, that can be used with polymer clay, and it just broadens out the possibilities and broadens our horizons. and. Because before, I mean, think about it, five years ago, we were all, everybody was struggling to, not five years, because I wasn't doing much five years ago, but like eight years ago, right? Um, everybody was struggling to uh, find some texture sheets or to find some medium that uh, would do something. Uh, because if you think the same techniques that were invented in the late 80s and early 90s, uh, we are still using them now. Uh, but in the past few years, there's a lot of new stuff that has um, appeared on the market. I mean, so many texture sheets, so many uh, types of paints, so many uh, types of varnishes, so many types of uh, mica powders and all kinds of other things. Um, and uh, things like, you know, like the Swellagant to do uh, metal patina and the PBO paints and all kinds of stuff. But, see, this is a double-edged sword. Because, and I will say this, je vais dire ça en français, ne vous inquiétez pas. Uh, because it is true that it made... Uh, a lot of things much easier for a lot of people and uh, much less frustrating for a lot of people who um, actually just want to make some jewelry and for various reasons for themselves to make gifts or to vend at various fairs because you can just you know use a texture sheet uh, do some mica powder rubbing use some pretty cutters 
uh, use another texture sheet for the bezel, uh, bake, use another texture, pretty texture sheet for the back, and a bale, and you're done. You have a pretty uh, piece of jewelry. And don't get me wrong, I'm not trying to put that down. It's, I mean, the, exactly because of all these possibilities, we can create so much beautiful stuff. But on the other hand, um, I think that it has the not so good effect of stifling creativity. Because when you see that, oh yeah, I can do all this so prettily, all I need is a couple texture sheets and some makeup powders and some, you don't strive to go forward. You don't try to find new ways of doing things. Uh, you don't try to find new effects. New, because see, the thing is that polymer clay by itself, without anything else, is has endless possibilities. So um, I thought of actually uh, creating a type of contest in which uh, the prize will be, and again, as I said, I will be contacting other uh, artists uh, that I know if they want to uh, join me in all this. But uh, what I want to do is to encourage new artists to create. And I thought of opening a contest and um, of course, I will post the, the whole thing because as I said, I have quite a bit of things that I can use as prizes. But um, the rules would be uh, the artist to have, uh, of course, a YouTube channel or a Facebook page or whatever, but not more than 500 subscribers or followers on their page at the time they register in the contest. The rule number two would be uh, not to use all these gadgets. I know it's kind of hard, huh? Uh, because uh, that would be exactly to encourage creativity. Um, I mean, not to use all kinds of fancy textures, not to use all kinds of fancy cutters. Of course, you can still use some, um, I mean, acrylic paints. Yes, because they are cheap. No mica powders, no uh, expensive foils. You can use leaf. That can be cheap. Nothing that is expensive. You know, because honestly, how can I say it? Somebody who just has a whole bunch of expensive texture sheets and shows you how to use them and expensive foils and expensive stuff and shows you how to use them to create things does not encourage your creativity. Anybody can do that if they have the money to buy all that stuff. You know, and uh, I want to encourage, I'm not talking about young artists, because you can start on this path even when you're 60, you know, but I want to encourage beginners to find their creative uh, streak, you know, to encourage them to get past the being a good technician because that's what it is if you know how to use properly the all that stuff you're a good technician but that doesn't make you a good artist so uh, like you tina yes you are a good artist and you are very gifted you find all kinds of uh things everything that you've sent me hi anastasia okay now let me say it a little bit in uh, in french to explain what I'm doing. 
and I hope to find an artist in Europe who would join me and you know would be willing to uh, participate in the prize. If not, I will budget it to send it to Europe. Um, donc j'ai dit que je veux euh, commencer un petit euh, concours euh, parce que dernièrement on a tellement de gagés dans le monde de l'argile polymérique, on a tellement de, euh, de tampons, de toutes sortes de poudres mica, toutes sortes de euh, nouveautés. Et c'est fantastique parce que euh, même un débutant peut faire des bijoux superbes seulement par, par achetant ses tampons et ses nouvelles gimmicks et euh, gager et faire des bijoux très très jolis. Et ne me... Je, je ne veux pas dire rien de mal de ce, ce genre de bijoux. Elles sont très, très, très jolies. Mais euh, le problème est que en utilisant euh, exclusivement tout ça, vous, vous, euh, Cécile, aide-moi. <rire> euh, vous vous arrêtez euh, la créativité. Vous ne euh, regardez plus pour de nouvelles façons de euh, travailler l'argile polymérique. Vous n'essayez ne, euh, plus à chercher euh, de nouvelles euh, façons d'utiliser l'argile polymérique. Euh, et ça, c'est un dommage parce qu'il y a tellement de, de personnes qui ont un vrai don, un vrai euh, trésor dans le euh, que. Et je veux commencer ce petit concours euh, parce que euh, j'ai reçu beaucoup de cadeaux euh, et parfois j'ai reçu deux fois les mêmes choses donc j'ai un peu d'objet euh, à donner comme euh, un prix pour ça. Euh, oui, on ne fait pas, euh, on ne fait que s'intéresser au gager et pas à la matière. Merci, Cécile. Euh, et le concours sera adressé aux artistes euh, qui sont, mais pas nécessairement débutants, mais euh, qui n'ont pas arrivé à se faire euh, très connus. Donc, il y, aura, il y aura des règles et les règles seront... Euh, vous devez avoir, si vous avez un euh, canal YouTube ou une page sur le Facebook, vous ne devez pas avoir plus de 500 euh, abonnés au moment que vous vous inscrivez au concours. Et euh, vous devez présenter votre euh, euh, travail, votre pièce, sans utilisant des gages. Euh, bien sûr, des euh, emporte pièces qui sont banales comme cette sont approuvées. Euh, utiliser euh, des peintures acryliques qui sont pas chères, mais pas de tampons chers, pas de euh, poudre mica chère, pas de toutes ces nouvelles euh, peintures et médias qui sont qui font tous ces effets et, et tout ça. Euh, donc, euh, je vais euh, ouvrir une euh, page sur Facebook euh, comme un euh, event, event, how do you say that, Cécile? Euh, comme le, seulement pour le concours et s'il y a euh, un artiste d'Europe de, euh, qui veut me euh, rejoindre, euh, pour contribuer et pour euh, m'aider à faire ce concours, je serai très euh, événement, c'est ça. Je serai très euh, reconnaissante. Uh, now, to, for the prize, uh, it will be uh, judged uh, two ways. Number one, uh, it will be judged by the number of uh, likes and views. And no, actually not by the number of views, because that can be bought uh, by the number of likes. 
both on the YouTube and on the Facebook, but also, and I will put all these rules up by uh, creativity. Um, there will be some points by uh, the least you use other mediums than polymer clay, the more points you get. Does that make sense? And don't tell me that the sculptors would have an advantage because, come on, people, caning, it's fabulous. And um, if you can make your own texture sheet, that is fine. But you will have to show in the video that you made it. So uh, the contribution will have to be a video. Yes, the best would be to put it on your channel or on your Facebook page. Uh, if you don't have a Facebook page and you have just a regular Facebook profile, make it public so it can be linked from the event page. Donc, vous ne devez pas nécessairement avoir un canal YouTube ou une page Facebook. Vous pouvez euh, télécharger votre vidéo parce qu'elle devra, devra être une vidéo. Et, et vous pouvez faire euh, vos euh, tampons vous-même, mais vous devez euh, le montrer dans la vidéo. Euh, euh, donc, si vous mettez euh, la vidéo sur votre page personnelle du Facebook, vous devez le faire public pour ce que je peux le... Euh, donner le lien directement euh, sur la page de l'événement. Uh, so, yeah, not yet, but you can do it. So, I'm thinking to start that uh, next week and the cutoff date will be the 31st of December, so there's a lot of time. And um, besides the material prize, and again, I will show in the event what I uh, am ready to give as a prize. Besides the material prize, I will also uh, offer a consultation uh, because I have an extensive experience in uh, internet marketing and all that. And uh, remember, I never used any kind of money for advertising on my channel. Uh, and I could have gone higher, but I did not with penetration. But the thing is that uh, I don't want to because I cannot handle too much at this point. Okay. So I have to uh, pace myself very carefully with what I'm doing because of my health. Um, so I will give a private consultation to that person on how to start their online business. OK, donc euh, au dessus du prix matériel, je vais aussi donner une consultation euh, privée aux gagnants sur euh, comment commencer et comment avoir une, euh, une entreprise euh, de succès euh, sur l'Internet parce que euh, j'ai une expérience extensive sur le Internet marketing. Et euh, vous voyez vous-même euh, les résultats et pensez que je n'ai pas utilisé du tout euh, de l'argent pour publicité. Et je pourrais aller encore, j'aurais pu aller encore plus euh, fort, mais euh, je ne veux pas le faire parce que je ne peux pas euh, faire beaucoup because, euh, parce que euh, ma santé est de la façon qu'elle est. Donc, euh, Je dois être très, très attentif euh, de comment je programme mes... Euh, oh, OK, I need some more help, Cécile. Euh, comment je programme mes... Euh, travail dans la ligne. Donc... Uh, ça, c'est mon deuxième uh, annonce important. Uh, et je vais, uh, je vais attendre votre feedback et si vous avez uh, des questions et aussi s'il y a un autre artiste d'Europe qui veut m'aider pour, pour, 
parce que j'aimerais euh, faire le, la même chose pour les artistes d'Europe. Mais s'il n'y a pas, je vais faire le budget pour que je puisse euh, envoyer le prix en Europe aussi. Oui, je dois faire attention au rythme de programmation. Merci, Cécile. C'est parce que le, le YouTube ne, ne garde pas le, le chat. Le chat. Uh, so, again, I will be waiting for your feedback and uh, if you have any questions or suggestions and if there is any uh, artist in Europe who wants to join me in this, I will be very grateful and very happy. If not, I will budget so I can send the prize in Europe. That's, that's it. But I think that uh, it is a pity that uh, people who start, there are so many people who start uh, on this uh, polymer clay and I can see that uh, I get a lot of photos and I love photos from you. Thank you so much. Whenever you send me photos um, with your works, it makes me so happy to see uh, people um, advancing and trying to find new ways of doing stuff and the way that um, Yes, it has to be a video tutorial, Teresa. Yes, it has to be a, a video tutorial. Yeah, Tina, I need an artist from Europe to join me, <laughs> to to help me with setting up and managing the, the event. So what was I saying? Yeah, that I, I see uh, the photos that you send me and it makes me so happy because I can follow on a lot of you uh, I know, I know. This is Seamus who wants attention. He's Mama's boy, as I said before. Um, I can follow your evolution as artists and how you go from um, being able to uh, exactly reproduce a tutorial from that to bringing your own contribution and developing that tutorial and applying it to other things and combining uh, techniques. It's absolutely wonderful for me to, to see that happening. Um, so please keep those photos coming. Make, and that makes me very, very, very happy. I mean, that's my main reward uh, of starting this whole channel and starting this whole thing. Uh, donc, j'ai dit que uh, dans les photos que je reçois, parce que je reçois uh, beaucoup de photos de vous, uh, me demandant mon avis, uh, et ça me fait si heureuse parce que je peux voir comment uh, quelqu'un uh, commence à évoluer comme un artiste. Uh, de du commencement quand il euh, commence à être capable de reproduire un tuto parfaitement et ensuite dans la prochaine euh, étape quand ils sont capables de euh, apporter leur, leur contribution à ce tutoriel ou l'utiliser avec une autre technique et euh, Je vois l'artiste émerger. C'est tellement, ça m'apporte euh, tellement de bonheur parce que c'est euh, la raison pourquoi j'ai commencé à faire ce, ce canal YouTube. Euh, pour euh, euh, partager de mes connaissances et pour aider euh, d'autres à trouver leur euh, artiste. Ici, dedans. So, uh, s'émanciper du tuto. Merci. Merci, Cécile. It is so, so awesome when I see that happening. So, um, I will make, of course, a video about the, the contest. And there's plenty of time uh, left before the end of the year to um, do your own uh, thing uh, and be able to enter the contest. Now, uh, to wrap this up, uh, what's going to happen this month? Well, of course, I, as I said before, I'm not going to give you a lot of um, details on what my plans are, but I can tell you that um, 
you will have quite a bit of stuff uh, that is related to the holidays. Then you will have some more gemstone imitation techniques. And then uh, you will have some more, oui, c'est un bonheur qu'on me doit. Merci, Cécile. Um, and some more uh, practical applications. Snow globe, I'll have to see probably. Oh, and I also got already the blank uh, Christmas ornaments. So we'll do that too, of course we will. Um, so j'ai uh, déjà acheté des um, ornaments pour l'arbre de Noël uh, qui sont uh, nudes, donc on fera de ça. On va faire uh, des projets pour les uh, pour l'arbre de Noël et pour décoration et aussi des décorations pratiques. Uh, et quelques imitations de pierres précieuses. Non, seulement, uh, le problème est avec ma, ma santé, si je vais être capable de vous montrer tout ça. Mais ça sera le programme uh, pour uh, novembre et décembre. Donc, on va faire uh, tout ça. Uh, so, I said, this will be practically both for uh, November and December, not uh, just for November. It's going to be um, on the schedule. And I know we have quite a bit of uh, projects that uh, have not been um, finished yet, and I promise you, I will finish them. Yes, yes, I know. Um, he just wants Mama's attention. I told you, he is Mama's boy. Connor is more aloof, but Seamus is very, very, you know, like one of those little three years old who always grasp on Mama's skirts. Merci, uh, Tipunet. Uh, what was I saying? He just got me into me, interrupted my train of thought. Not that it's hard to do that. Don't get me wrong. It's so easy to distract me. Um, oh, come on. Shoo, shoo. Leave me alone. Yeah, now he's messing up with the table. Uh, no, it's not Connor. It's Seamus. Uh, so, yes, we will do uh, the projects that have not been finished. I will get back to them one at a time and we will finish them. I know we still have those three uh, necklaces that are the wearable art thing. Um, I still have to do an owl. I did not forget. We will get to that. Um, a lot of things I might now leave for uh, January, February, because those are the blah months. And even if there's a Valentine's Day coming, uh, there's only so many hearts somebody can do. Come on. So um, for January, February, even beginning of March, um, there will be a lot of projects because those are the blah months. It's when the holidays are over and everybody's like, okay, it's still winter, it's drab, what are we going to do? Uh, donc, j'ai dit que euh, je sais qu'il y a assez de projets que euh, je vous ai promis et je n'ai pas fait encore, mais je vais les faire. Euh, quelques d'entre eux seront euh, poussés au janvier et même février parce que ça, c'est les euh, mois de blanc. C'est quand les, les célébrations de l'hiver sont passées, il n'y a pas grand chose à faire. Je sais, il y a le Saint-Valentin, mais il y a seulement tellement de cœur qu'on peut faire. Donc, euh, et ensuite avec le, le printemps arrivant, on aura beaucoup de fleurs, n'est-ce pas? Euh, donc, ne vous inquiétez pas, il y a beaucoup que je peux vous montrer. Je, je, Quelqu'un m'a, une fois, m'a dit... Euh, quand ma santé était en, en, encore assez bonne et je pouvais faire à peu près un tuto euh, par jour, ils m'ont dit, euh, tu dois ralentir parce que tu vas euh, n'avoir plus quoi nous montrer. Et j'ai dit, tu sais, si je ferais un tuto par jour pour les prochaines deuxièmes, deux années, 
j'aurai encore quelque chose à vous montrer. Uh, what I said is that, uh, don't worry that I will not run up stuff to show you. Uh, there was one time uh, when I could, my health didn't go downhill yet and I was still able to do a tutorial per day almost. Uh, somebody told me you need to slow down because you'll run out of things to show us. And I said, you know what, if I would do a tutorial a day for the next two years, I would still have more stuff to show you. So no worries about that. There's plenty, plenty, plenty that I can show you. And besides, I have this mind that always worries, always comes up. That's my main danger because when I try to do something, I am getting on track. I'm starting to finish pieces and then all of a sudden I get an idea and I have to try it. So the pieces that need to be finished are forgotten and I'm feverishly working on my new idea. Okay. Oh, that's nice. You need to send me a photo, Tina. That's always a big event when somebody makes their first swirly be bead. It's such a big event. Because, <laughs> I don't know, a lot of people have problems with the swirly beads. And the truth is that until you get the the hang of the how to do the motion, it can be quite daunting. Um, and if you want, I can do a tutorial just on Swirly Beads, but I'll probably just put it on the website uh, because it's just a beginner. I don't want to flood my channel with plain, very basic uh, things. So all the very basic things, you will find them uh, uh, on my website. And I am starting to populate all that section. You'll find a whole bunch of stuff. And as I said, slowly, slowly, I'm populating the, that website and you'll be able to find uh, even the YouTube videos. They will be organized by uh, sections, by techniques, by... <laughs> I know, Teresa, right? Uh, so they will be much easier to find. Oh, okay, <laughs> Carry. Oh, yes, and I wanted to show you something. Give me just a minute because I saw something today and it completely slipped my mind. And I don't know if I still have it. Yes, I do. Okay, so I don't know if you are familiar with Archie D. Um, she has a YouTube channel. She's a polymer and resin clay artist, and she does absolutely awesome, awesome, awesome stuff. She's got like 60,000 subscribers, so you probably know her. And um, apparently, because about, I don't know, eight years ago, there was very much in fashion the combination of uh, polymer clay and macrame. I don't know if you're aware with that. Uh, and I used to do a whole bunch of stuff like that, and they are fairly easy to make. And I looked for my old pieces because I still had a few that I, um, when I stopped going to fairs, of course, I didn't uh, sell them anymore. Uh, let me switch the camera so I can show you. Okay. So see how it is instead of a bale you practically crochet a bale to attach your uh, polymer clay pendant uh, and apparently it's back in fashion and not only that but um, I might make a tutorial or I might not I don't know because you know me and the time that's my time constriction always uh, but I will put, after the, the live is over, uh, I will put a, a link to that uh, tutorial of hers that she just posted because she shows a lot of very interesting stuff on how to uh, create your pendants so you can use macrame on them and not just with the uh, crocheting. Let me say it real quick in French. Uh, donc, uh, j'ai vu, c'est pas si vous êtes abonné à um, RTD. Uh, elle est une très, très, très uh, bonne artiste et fait uh, beaucoup de tutos à plus de 60 uh, 
1000 abonnés, mais euh, j'ai vu, euh, oh yes, they were selling really good. J'ai vu son tuto de ce matin et je me suis rappelé parce que euh, la combinaison de d'argile polymère et euh, macramé et crochet était très en vogue il y a euh, 8 ou 9 ans, quelque chose comme ça. Et j'ai fait beaucoup de... Euh, et j'ai euh, trouvé, j'ai cherché dans mes, euh, mes, mes bois euh, et j'ai retrouvé quelques pièces de ce que j'ai fait. Euh, et euh, ce que je voulais dire, je vais mettre un lien quand euh, le live sera fini parce que son tuto d'aujourd'hui, apparemment, c'est encore, en, ça revient en vogue. Euh, elle montre euh, beaucoup de façons de créer euh, vos pendentifs euh, pour que vous pouvez attacher le macramé au crochet. Oh yeah, yeah. Euh, donc, euh, après que le live sera fini, euh, cherchez dans la description du vidéo parce que vous allez euh, voir... Euh, euh, le lien pour euh, ce tuto. Je ne sais pas si je vais avoir le temps de faire un tuto sur ça ou pas, euh, parce que si je fais un tuto, je vais vous montrer aussi comment faire le, le crochet aussi, pas seulement le, le pendentif. Mais son tuto euh, vous montre parfaitement comment créer le pendentif avec des petites lignes où vous pouvez insérer le, et des petits trous où vous pouvez insérer votre macramé, votre ligne de crochet. Ah, oui, la plupart d'entre nous qui font ça, font aussi du crochet. I mean, pensez à son agrégory. Uh, the thing is that most of us who do polymer clay, by some reason or another, also do crocheting. I mean, think about the great name of Sona Gregorian. She loves crocheting and she even has a few uh, tutorials on crochet. Um, so, um, I'm going to put that, then I know that I wanted to, oh yes, uh, watch Gail's latest video on the, I think it was a pixelated cane, it was called. Because that one is absolutely fabulous. Uh, and it's one of those, um, old but never too old uh, techniques and I was watching it and it looked to me like yeah it's pixelated bra bracelet and it looked to me almost like a uh, snake skin I mean it's so beautiful uh, oh yes oh yes yeah I hope that um, he does more and please send me the photos of what he does tina please because it's wonderful oh yes my grandma used to crochet all kinds of stuff my maternal grandma i mean she had curtains in her house she had curtains heavy curtains made out of macrame so she was the heavy <laughs> macrame person and not only that but she did beautiful uh embroideries with ribbon and with all kinds of other stuff so i learned a lot from her um so that would be it unless you have any kind of questions uh donc c'est c'est ça pour uh, ce mois si vous avez uh, des questions um et vous voulez Vous pouvez les mettre dans les commentaires de ce vidéo. Vous pouvez me contacter sur ma page Facebook. Vous pouvez me contacter euh, dans mon euh, website. Vous pouvez me con contacter dans mon blog. Et euh, n'aurez pas, n'avez pas de... Euh, je ne vais jamais vous dire que vous devez être mon patron pour que je vous réponde à vos questions. Bon. So I said, I'll never tell you that you need to be my patron so I can ask your questions. Otherwise, I won't. No, that will never happen. Okay. So go ahead and if you have any kind of questions or if you need advice, uh, just either post on the comments of this video or you can contact me 
uh, through my Facebook page. You can contact me through my website. You can contact me through my blog. And another thing, don't forget to check uh, from time to time my Pinterest because it's true that I don't have time to go through all the Instagram and Twitter and all that stuff, but I put a lot of stuff on Pinterest. I have like, I don't know, 30 boards uh, with color mixes, with interesting uh, new stuff that I see as techniques. Uh, so check that from time to time because you might find quite interesting stuff there. Donc j'ai dit, ne vous aussi devez voir mon Pinterest parce que euh, même si j'ai pas le temps d'avoir tout ce réseau de socialisation avec le Instagram et le Twitter et tout ça, euh, j'ai un assez bien développé Pinterest, euh, j'ai plus de 30 boards et euh, je mets beaucoup de choses là-bas, euh, de couleurs, euh, des recettes de couleurs jusqu'à uh, des uh, choses, des de nouvelles techniques et des nouvelles façons que je vois uh, à faire des de choses. Où, uh... Oh yeah, and one more thing that I wanted to say, I will start making a few videos also on um, sculpting and doll making, uh, especially because that can be used for Christmas ornaments. So yeah, I know, the fairy, baby fairies will do that. Uh, donc, je vais aussi uh, faire un, uh, quelques tutos sur uh, sculpter des uh, poupées d'art parce que c'est justement sur l'arbre de Noël ornament. Et je sais, on va faire les bébés uh, de fées. À bientôt, on va le faire ça. So. Oh, yeah, I used to, to use yarn. I still have a whole bunch of yarn. I used to make a lot of... Uh, Puppy and small dog sweaters. That's one of my things, uh, especially. And I didn't do it this year, but uh, in all years, I used to make a whole bunch of, uh, you know, like Santas and or small dogs. Uh, because there is a problem with the dog sweaters. And I'm going to tell you, as the owner of a dog, and in the past, I had the dogs the same. And here, Gail would understand me perfectly. Uh, but dog with long legs. The problem with all the dog coats that are on the market, they are made, if they open at all, they would open in the front. So if you want to put them on your dog, you'd have to break their legs because there's no way you can bang that poor dog's legs so it would fit through the uh, sleeve or sleeve opening. So uh, the way that I made my uh, um, puppy sweaters and puppy coats where, um, you know, you could put it on the head, but then it was open on the sides and it had the front part and the back part, so you could just button them. So you wouldn't terrorize and terrify the poor dog just trying to put a sweater on it. <laughs> you know, I mean... Yeah, that, that's so stupid. I mean, you see all these big companies that are all on uh, uh, pet uh, clothing, and it's like they've never seen a pet in their life. I mean, it's okay on a dachshund, but try to put one of those cots on a whippet. Yeah, you might have to break their legs to put the coats on. All you can find that goes on whippets are those kind of blanket things that are practically just a, a noble that goes on their back and then with some type of belt. And that leaves their poor chest and their poor uh, legs. And see, the problem with greyhounds are not, not so much, but the whippets, the whippets don't have an undercoat. Uh, and that's why you can practically see their skin and that's why they are very sensitive to extreme temperatures. So they do need um, some kind of coats in winter when you take them out. But good luck finding something, you know? Okay, rant over. <laughs> Donc, j'ai dit que j'ai fait, uh, je fais beaucoup de, j'ai fait, j'ai pas fait uh, cette année, uh, beaucoup de uh, crochets pour les chiens. Euh, spécialement des crochets parce que tous les, les compagnies qui font des vêtements pour les chiens, ils font seulement pour les chiens avec des, des pieds courts. Parce que si vous en essayez à mettre un de ces vêtements sur un chien avec des pieds longs, euh, 
on peut les casser les, les pieds parce que ce n'est pas possible de mettre, de plier le chien, les pieds du chien de façon qu'on peut mettre le vêtement sur le chien. Euh, donc, j'ai fait des, euh, des vêtements pour les chiens qui euh, allaient sur la tête, donc étaient comme un petit euh, col. Et ensuite, étaient dans le front et sur le bas et on les boutonnait euh, aux côtes. Parce que c'est la même meilleure façon. Et quelques euh, races de chiens euh, ont besoin d'habits pour, pour l'hiver. Comme euh, euh, Whispers, il est euh, une whippet, même s'il est... Euh, gros parce que son, euh, sa santé, il a le cushing. Mais euh, les whippets n'ont pas de sous-poil. Donc, ils sont très susceptibles, susceptibles à des euh, températures extrêmes. Donc, ils ont besoin d'un vêtement quand ils vont au dehors en hiver. So, OK, let's wrap this up because it's past 10.30 and I don't want to keep you more than, a, uh, than an hour. And then I have to get ready because my, remember, Saturdays is my goodwill treasure hunting. Who knows, I might find another atlas. Oh, yeah, and by the way, you know, I had another um, pasta machine that broke the next day after I, I found this one. It had plastic fenders. Uh, so it broke the next day. So this was a good find. So hopefully I'll find something uh, nice and pretty. And then uh, don't forget, uh, I think I showed you my new baking stuff. Uh, so yeah, I need to get ready. And don't forget tomorrow we will make an elven pendant using filigree. Donc n'oubliez pas, uh, demain on va faire uh, un uh, pendentif, uh, comment est-ce qu'on appelle, elfique? en euh, utilisant du filigrane. Donc, euh, ça sera très, très, très joli, je vous promets. Donc, je vais vous voir euh, demain. N'oubliez pas, demain à midi, le temps central donc, sera euh, 5 heures de l'après-midi dans le GM. Tu ne sais pas quand est-ce qu'on va changer l'heure ici. Un moment. Laissez-moi voir pour ne pas vous donner un un temps. It's going to be, it's going to be changed tonight. So it's going to be daylight. It's going to be six o'clock for GMT. Donc il sera si dans l'après-midi pour le le Greenwich. Donc il sera sept dans l'après-midi pour la France. Parce qu'on va changer le temps. Uh, ce nuit dans le, les États-Unis. Donc, je vais vous voir demain. So, I'll see you tomorrow. And I'm going to get ready for my treasure hunt. And remember, if you have any questions and look, and look forward for the contest because I will be announcing it, I think that it's time for me to give back and be thankful for everything that I got from you. Okay? So, I'll see you tomorrow. Have a wonderful day. Je vais vous voir demain. Et, euh, un bon samedi à vous.